Hello from the rooftop of my hotel here in Jaisalmer, Rajasthan. Behind me is another one of Rajasthan's incredible forts. Today I'm going to show you this here hotel. Let's get down out of the rain before I get too stoked. I just wanted a nice establishing shot or whatever the hell they call it. <laughs> Here, the kitchen. Here, is the indoor seating of the rooftop restaurant. They have a little couch. They have some tables. Hello, Uncle. How are you? <laughs> I'm making a video. He's the resident patriarch of this here establishment. There are four brothers, and their whole families are running. I believe they said they have four hotels and a restaurant, uh, a, a solo restaurant, but the restaurant is not yet available. This building is built, uh, I would say, with 95% Jaisalmer yellow sandstone. Um, so it's local from this here quarry. There's lots of buildings using this, and a good portion of the buildings in this city are totally built out of this particular stone. Let me wipe the lens off real quick. Okay, I went to my standard angle lens because the wide angle lens fogs up in the rain. Out here they have sun beds when it's sunny. During the winter they do bonfires out here. They said uh, it's a really great place for couples and honeymooners and I totally agree. It's, it's definitely a, a nice place to sit and relax when the rain isn't coming down. Um, they have some that are canopied. They got a little bench swing and some that aren't if you want to sit out and look up at the stars. There's not too much light pollution here, so you can definitely see uh, the sky really well when it is clear out and there's no clouds. Uh, you can see these tiles are the sandstone. These walls are the sandstone. They have all this carved in. I mean, it's, it's really awesome construction. Just check this out. I hope you can see. It's incredibly beautiful. I mean, look at this wall. I mean, just that. That's the craftsmanship is really nice. You have these big blocks here. Got to be careful. The stairs are wet. Uh, it's all these big sandstone blocks. They have light-colored mortar here. So it doesn't stand out too much, or at least it's a matching color mortar. I'm going to take you to my room. Here is the first floor. I would call the second floor, but it's the first floor. Let me show you, actually. They have a little window seat here if you want to relax inside and hang out. And look at the, the fort. Um, I'm gonna try to go to this fort, but it's really rainy today, and hopefully you can see. Um, sorry that the weather isn't letting me get a good shot at the fort. I hope you can see it from up on the roof. What you see this whole thing is sandstone. The only parts that aren't sandstone, as they said, that they had to replace um, some of the floors that aren't exposed to more like outside weather and heat because this particular sandstone doesn't do too well uh, staying wet for too long. For things like white marble you can get wet, it's not going to go bad for years, right? I mean, it just it just lasts. Uh, I don't know, go bad is the, not the right word, but you get it. Let me uh, take you into my room here. First let me unlock the door, okay? Okay. I'll open the door. Yeah, they replaced some of the floor tiles, but here, it's all sandstone on the wall. You don't have some horrible drywall here. This little door is in a closet or a bathroom. It opens up and you can actually get a fresh breeze coming in if you want a cross breeze because this window doesn't open to the outside, actually. It opens up into this hallway. Now, this is all kind of open, but you can get a cross breeze if you open this up. This room has a fan and AC. Uh, they normally charge, I believe, 1,000 rupees a night, which is like, mm, let's say 12-ish dollars, maybe 13. 
but I am paying 800 I got them to give me it for 800 a night, which is almost exactly $10. It might be $10 and a quarter at the current exchange rate. So you have AC, you have fan, it's pretty good. Sorry, I really do uh, destroy a hotel room. Uh, sorry, my bathroom light isn't working at the moment. The uh, power switches continue to elude me here in India. There's always a, a new technique to them. But I have a sink, mirror, western toilet, a shower with a, a pan so you don't get a lot of water on the floor. This is actually like a full shower unit. Normally you just have a wet room so the whole thing is, you know, gets wet and you track water all over this one. You actually have a full shower. Um, you have a hand uh, holder, you just have a, a rain shower, and you have a, a bath faucet, even though this isn't a bathtub. You have hooks for your towels. This here window opens up to the hall, which is cool. Here's your bed. It's nice and uh, bouncy. The headboard is actually a headstone. It's carved, again, out of this yellow sandstone. Same with the frame of this bed, which is really, really awesome. I don't know how long it takes to make something like this, or how cheap this is, but I would say I spent a pretty penny on these bed frames certainly more expensive than a wooden or a factory metal bed frame. This is all handmade stuff. Let's go show you downstairs. Uh, let's get one last look at the room here. Not bad, uh, it has TV. They do have Wi-Fi. Um, I can't really attest to the power of the Wi-Fi because I haven't tried to upload any YouTube videos here. I'm just you know, using it for my phone. But they do have Wi-Fi. Let's go on downstairs and I'll show you the lobby. Okay. The rain comes all the way down which is cool <laughs> i don't know if i hello how are you i don't know if i'd consider that a design flaw but <laughs> i think it's kind of nifty i would imagine they have to do a lot of mopping here here's the entrance the hotel here's the street it's just down a little alleyway off the uh kind of tourist market area, they have the local city center and then the tourist market is near, well, I don't know if I'd call it the tourist market, but there's another market right under the um, under the uh, fort, that's what I'm looking for, under the fort. Oh, oh, you know what, let me give you the name of the place. This is the Shahi Palace Hotel. And they have, again, a rooftop restaurant. Pancakes are pretty good. I can't attest to much else because I've tried to eat around. I just got in last night. Hello, how are you? This is Hammond. He is the uh, the heir to this particular hotel fortune and the <laughs> the uh, manager, or the, day, the daytime hotel manager here. So. He runs it with his father, four uncles, and grandfather, though he's mostly retired, yes? yes, yes. Uncle is mostly retired upstairs. <laughs> so, I hope you think it's a pretty cool place. They give you a good price if you're here in Jaisalmer. Um, it's a nice, relaxing city. They have uh, desert safaris. You can take camels or jeeps. Um, I would say there's not a lot of uh, nutty activities, there's not a lot of noise, and um, the air is clean. So, if you come here at the right time of year, probably 
I'd say the end of August, you really do get some great weather for a couple months. He's showing me a, oh, here's a, here's a room that has not been destroyed by my filthy ass. So you can see a, a brand new clean room when you walk in, thank you, Hammond. Yes, and this particular room has a, a sitting chair with a fort view. That's very good. Yeah, I'm finally getting to show you a room that I haven't destroyed. That's very nice. Um, <laughs> you have lighting. I think this is just a fan room, so you're getting a cheaper price for a room with no AC, by the way. So this room has a better view than my room, but it doesn't have AC. But if it's the winter, you, you don't need AC. And um, depending on where you're from, you might not need AC. Either way, I know a lot of people don't actually like AC because it, it makes them sick. Me, I can power through unlimited air conditioning, personally. Um, again, they've, they've changed the tile, so it's not just sandstone. This is, this is a full wet room. So again, you have a shower here, and everything goes on the floor. But again, you take a floor squeegee, and it's, it's great, actually. I, I like the wet room style. Um, you don't have to worry about ruining the floor with water here in India, because it's all designed to have floor drains. You have a good western toilet. The sink, you have a nice mirror, pretty clean. You got a vent hole in case you come from Amritsar and your bowels have been destroyed. You want to stink up your whole room. <laughs> That's another roast. Got a nice, beautiful mirror here. You got some reading lights, some beautiful decorations. You can close these here curtains. You have a TV. I never use a TV, but. If you want to relax and watch the boob tube, you can definitely do that. Um, they have a, a latch lock on all these doors, so you can either use the lock they provide or you can bring your own lock. I brought my own lock with me and locks are really cheap here in India, so if you are worried, I don't think you have anything to worry about here, but if you are worried about security, you can always put your own lock on these type of doors. Here we go, here we have a clean AC room. Uh, this is more similar to my room with the window out in the hallway for the cross breeze. You have two windows here so you can get a good breeze. TV, big bed, it's two beds pushed together, but or two mattresses put together. This is a actually a wood frame bed so you don't get the stone bed like I have. Um, wow, I, I love this sandstone. Again, you have good decorations. Look at this wooden carved mirror frame. I mean, come on guys. It's, it's pretty cool. I really like that a lot. The bathroom. Again, you have these polished. I believe these are still sandstone. I think they're polished. Maybe they're not, though. Um, I don't know if this is polished sandstone or if it's uh, a different type of tile. Yeah, full wet room here. Ooh, this one's got a bench. That's nice. So you can sit here and point the shower head at you and really relax. Very good. Wow. Well, even this sink. Looks like it's made out of the sandstone as well. Western toilet. Toilet paper roll. So you can request toilet paper or put it on and provide some soap, obviously. Towels. I actually need to ask for a towel. I've been using my own. Uh, oh, they got a coat rack here. Got nice lighting in this room. Have a little drawer here. It's like they're not providing a Bible like an American. <laughs> if you didn't want to know something about America and all the cheap hotels, they put a Bible in the drawer, or at least they used to. I don't know if they still do. Here you might get a bag of or actually you get nothing. So <laughs> bring your own books, guys. <laughs> they don't assume which one you want to read. Alrighty, well, I gotta say, this hotel is pretty nice. It's not the most luxurious establishment that you pay 40, 50,000 rupees for. It's not some gargantuan palace. It's a family run business here in a, a more or less a village. I mean, without, without tourism, this would just be a of Rajasthani village like any other. Um, it is a tourist hub, so they do have lots of hotels available. 
I think that pretty much completes the video. I showed you the roof. I showed you the restaurant. I don't want to go in the kitchen. The guys are in there cooking. I don't want to disturb them. It's kind of rude to barge into a working area. The lobby is obviously right downstairs when you walk in the door. You have access through this alleyway. So please, if you're in Jai Somir, come to the Shahi Palace Hotel. It's easy to find on Google. They have tons of great reviews. They have a great staff. Uh, and again, thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.